Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields and today I'm working on the two by one broken rib knit stitch. And in the previous video, we did it knit flat. So it was a knit two purl one, sorry, it was a knit one purl two because you're working on the wrong side of your row versus the right side of your row. So on this pattern, whenever we're knitting in the round, we're always knitting the right side of our work versus when we knit flat, we flip the work and we work on the wrong side and the right side. Knitting in the round, we're always working on the right side. So on this pattern, it's gonna be a knit two purl one for your first row. So we're gonna knit two purl one and it is a three stitch repeat. So you will cast on in increments of three. I have cast on 30 stitches. So we have that purl stitch. So this is the broken rib. So we're gonna knit two, purl one. Knit two, purl one. And this is a uh, nice stitch to a uh, kind of a different stitch. If you wanted to use it on the brim of a hat, you could do that. Um, even on the border of a blanket, it would look nice. Or on a sleeve of your uh, cuff of your shirt would be nice. If you're using um, a very thin yarn, you could even use this on a sock. I think that would be a nice sock stitch. And this is a two row repeat. So on that row, it was knit two, sorry, purl one, because we're on purl this last stitch. Getting ahead of myself. So knit two, purl one. So then whenever you start the next row, the next row is all knit stitches. So if you put your work down and pick it back up, it's really easy to tell, to tell which row you're on next because if you have a purl here, then that means your row is to knit all stitches. If you have a knit stitch, then that means it's a knit two purl one row. So it's a really easy one to memorize, uh, which I enjoy because I find it relaxing. And the yarn I am using for this swatch is a Cloudborn. It is a blueprint which was craftsy. And I am really enjoying using it. It is an all wool yarn. And yesterday I used a size 11 knitting needle and today I am using a size 13. It does slide really nice with these metal needles which I really like using my metal needles. There's no tension with it. So I really enjoy it. So back all the way around. So you can see here, this is what it looks like whenever I knit with a size 11, there's hardly any little gaps in it. So if I were to knit a sweater, I probably would use an 11 because the 13, it's just a little on the looser side, but if I were gonna knit a shawl or even a cowl, I would probably use this looser stitch because I want, um, I don't know, I just want it to be a little looser, but a sweater, I want it to be a little um, more rigid because I want it to wear well. So I would probably have it. I like my sweaters to be just a little on the tighter side than the looser side. So maybe it depends on what kind of sweater I go for. If I have a tighter fit sweater, I would probably go with this. But if I want just like a pullover, something loose and baggy that I'm gonna wear with the layers, I'd probably bump it up to the 13. So it probably just depends on the project. So anyways, that is the two by one uh, rib knit stitch broken. It's a two by one broken rib stitch knit in the round. And then in my previous video, I have it knit flat. So you could see uh, the difference in knitting round versus in the flat with this stitch. 
So I hope you guys found that to be helpful and thank you so much for watching.